Hey Tex, this is Jay Strunk. I would uh, like to show you a little, a little bit about my, well, one of my hobbies, shortwave radio listening. Basically, what it is is just listening to broadcast stations on the shortwave bands. Some of them are domestic broadcast shortwave stations here in the U.S. Some of them are foreign. Uh, there's this radio, this Hammerlin HQ100A. See if I can phone it a little here without. You know, it's probably not just. Not the best, but anyway, uh, it is tuned in right now to China Radio International. And tune it up, turn it up a little bit here, and see what see what we can hear. Yes, they do broadcast in English. That'd be the only way I could decipher what they're <laughs> what they're saying. But uh, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. It's Hamlin HQ100. I uh, basically run through the controls here has a telecron clock and a off receiver the send and the BFO control which is basically for listening to sideband or sideband transmissions got video on my mind here okay got an antenna trimmer basically that's just to tune in for max signal the main tuning is just like it says the main tuning dial sensitivity basically that's like a RF gain manual ABC switch uh, manual ABC ABC stands for automatic volume control that's basically for stations that are so loud that they overload the receiver you can switch that into ABC mode and it will kind of even it out even out the volume of stations and what have you okay here's the main tuning uh, band switch basically the tuning ranges uh, this thing covers from 540 kilohertz to 30 megahertz in four or five different different bands and uh, basically that's a the limiter circuit it's for cutting out noise and things like that uh, audio gain just another big name for volume knob basically and a band spread that's basically if you want to spread the bands out, spread the frequencies out over a more, uh, what you could say, a easier, a bigger band spread, you can tune them a little bit easier. It's just for ease of tuning. Works out okay on the amateur radio bands, but for shortwave, it's probably not, not that, not used. Let's see. Now up here is the S meter or the carrier level meter basically it just indicates the or shows the uh, level that the station the signal level that the station is uh, you're receiving the station at basically this one's in between S9 and 20 over which is a fairly good strong signal from China Radio International okay this Q multiplier here is just basically a filter it's used in the single sideband mode comes in good for CW or Morse code reception too. The selectivity is just part of the just basically another filter this thing has and uh, also up here oh boy that's already make you dizzy basically that's just your band spread band spread dial there ain't no way we're gonna be able to see that that's the BFO knob the beat frequency oscillator that's for use for listening listening to sideband signals and what have you sideband transmissions and this is the main tuning dial it's got four or five different bands on there and uh, what have you for uh, different tuning ranges and whatnot right now it's sitting on about six meg and uh, we got China, so China Radio International this thing's not right on the money it's probably about a 1955 to 60 general uh, coverage shortwave receiver so it's it's made the frequency may have drifted off over time some but uh, it, it's still a pretty good receiver and I guess I mentioned about the telecron basically the clock this thing has a special feature where you can set it say like if you want to listen to a certain shortwave broadcast or what have you program at a certain date maybe or a certain time maybe like 3 UTC you can set this thing for 230 UTC and it'll turn it on and let the receiver warm up it is a tube receiver it has probably about uh, I think last count 18 tubes in it so it takes a while for all those tubes to heat up 
So if you turn it on 30 minutes beforehand, all the tubes will be heated up and, and the receiver will be ready to go. It's uh, called a warm-up timer, I believe. But uh, you can see that one. Over the years, the clock's peeling. The clock face is peeling. But overall, heck, it's a, still a pretty good receiver. Uh, let's see if we can get a top shot of this thing. Or I'll tell you what, first we'll listen to this station and see what they see what they had to say a little bit. Okay, it's drifted off a little bit. There we go. Blackjack. Oh boy. Yeah, I think they're referring to the MIT deal. Break the break in Vegas or something. Let's take a look. There's a speaker, obviously. Let's take a look in the top of this thing. That's basically.